What's going on, everyone? Welcome to BYUSN right now. It's me, Kiki Solano, back to give you the latest deets in all things BYU sports. BYU football is taking on number 11, Washington, on Saturday. Do the Huskies have anything to be afraid of? Number one, BYU women's volleyball is at it again with a win over Pepperdine. And let's relive some of our favorite moments from the first month of fall sports. BYU football faces number 11 Washington in Seattle on Saturday. Vegas says that the Cougars are 17 and a half point underdogs, and according to ESPN.com, they only have a 7.5% chance of winning. That doesn't sound too good, but let me remind you that before kickoff against Wisconsin, BYU only had a 6.3% chance of winning. So we'll take those odds. It seems like Washington has nothing to be afraid of. They're favored to win by 92.5%. They're a Pac-12 team. They have incredible athletes and incredible coaching staff. And like I said earlier, they ranked number 11. So they should be scared, right? This email was sent out by the University of Washington, telling everyone attending the game to wear purple. In fact, they say all BYU should see purple. purple rain. They said, quote, this BYU team is not one to be taken lightly. They then referenced the fact that the Cougars upset then number six, Wisconsin. And they took down Heisman hopeful Khalil Tate in Arizona. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you see that picture? Go back to it. <laughs> Go back to it because that player has Washington tattooed on his arm. Oh is that, come on, is that too much? Maybe not for him. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Was it too much when that guy got Spencer Linton tattooed on his back? Oh, the Twitter guy? Yeah. Ow! Anyways, maybe Washington is just using this as a way to hype the game and fill up the stadium, but everything they said is true. This could be another upset. So maybe they aren't afraid of us. But either way, we're getting big respect from big teams. And it is extremely different how they're running the ball. I mean, it's, you know, so many spread teams, um, you know, the zone read game, there's none of that, nothing of that. But they have their own unique way how to keep the defense honest with this fly sweep game. Number one, BYU women's volleyball beats Pepperdine three to zero. The girls remain undefeated. Ronnie Jones Perry led the team with 16 kills, and Heather Olmstead got her 100th victory as a BYU head coach. Is it too much? No! Nothing's too much for them. BYU Women's Golf places fifth in the Coeur d'Alene Collegiate Championship. Naomi Soifua placed eighth, getting the Cougs their first individual top 10 performance of the season. The girls take a two week break and then they head to Seattle. Hello, Seattle. Football's going to Seattle this weekend. Hello, Seattle. I want to go to Seattle. I've never been. Let's road trip. Road trip. Hello, Seattle. The last month of fall sports is almost over. So let's relive some of our favorite moments. Run it. Oh, it's Tanner Mangum. Tanner Mangum. His head fell off. His head fell off. Ah! Four. Happy birthday, Jim. <laughs> We're fine. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. If you're not already following us, go and follow us. We are on Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're everywhere. Be sure to check us out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you break that TV. I won't break it, I swear.